Hello, everybody. Welcome in. It is Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot. And this is going to be a reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I am focusing on energies in and around my Scorpio collective for the month of September. Um, keep in mind, timing and energy is fluid. Not every reading is going to be for you. I could be speaking directly to a cross watcher. Um, and this could resonate at any time throughout the month of September. So take what resonates, leave behind the rest. If you have not yet, feel free to hit that subscribe button to join the channel to never miss an energy reading. Um, don't mind my four-year-old daughter playing in the background. Um, shit is real here. So let's jump right in and see what kind of a message needs to come through for Scorpio. I am using the Sacred Traveler's Deck by Denise Lynn. We're going to see the main energy surrounding Scorpio um, for the month ahead, and we will get some clarifying energies um, with my archetype deck. So what energies does Scorpio need to be aware of for the month of September? Okay, we have... <laughs> traveling lightly so i do believe you are encouraged to simplify your life to release any excess baggage emotional or physical baggage i feel if you have had your head up in the clouds scorpio you really are encouraged to hold the course and stay focused i feel um a lot of distractions surrounding you scorpio i do believe um this desert passageway is really asking you to trust that there is a divine plan playing out in your life for the month of September. And this really is to get you to choose your path so you are finally able to reach your destination, Scorpio. I think all is possible and you're, re you're needing to release any um, fear-based energy that, is, that has kept you in some limited um, vibrations. Bottom of the deck answering the call. Pisces also got that on the bottom of the deck. So you could be dealing with a Pisces Scorpio or you could have strong Pisces in your chart. I do believe um, there's a lot of divine orchestration playing out in the month of September when it comes to your life. And I do believe um, you are kind of encouraged to take that leap of faith, to step into that fool's journey, to release everything that just isn't serving you in order for you to regain a sense of purpose, in order for you to um, have some clarity. But the time is now to answer the higher calling, Pisces. So, or Scorpio. <laughs> you could very well be dealing with Pisces. But let's dig in with the archetype energies and see what the supporting archetypes are when it comes to these oracle energies. What does Scorpio need to know about these energies for the month of September. And I keep wanting to say Pisces. So you very well could be dealing with another water sign Scorpio. So what are the supporting archetype energies um, for Scorpio for the month of September? Okay, bottom of the deck, bully. Okay, Pisces got that too. So. I feel um, this is either your energy or somebody you're connected with, but I feel there is a lot of abusive energy surrounding you, whether this be verbal abuse, mental abuse, or physical ab abuse. And I feel this is all based out of a lot of fear. Um, uh, I feel the fear to control, the, um, the need to want to intimidate others, um, to kind of refuse facing any inner fears. And I feel there is a need for you to go deep into some shadow aspects to really figure out why you have been so pessimistic about your journey, Scorpio. I feel a lot of pessimism um, surrounding you in the month of September, a lot of depression, and you're really needing to believe in miracles again, Scorpio. I think the energy really is requiring you to take action towards what is going to bring you a lot of growth and expansion in the month of September to really see the potential for the sacred beauty in all of the life lessons that you have come here to learn um, and to believe that everything truly is possible when you choose the direction you're encouraged to go in. We have the thief energy. So perhaps you are dealing with somebody that is maybe stealing your money or draining your finances or really kind of just 
stealing your power and you're really um, in this energy of lack mentality. And I feel a lot of light is being shed in the month of September um, in regards to what really has held you back from embracing the potential wealth that you're, you're kind of being pushed to step into. Um, and you need to remember that nothing can ever really be stolen from within and wealth truly is an inside job. We have the damsel um, archetype with uh, the prince. So I do feel um, huge potential for um, you to go into self aggrandizement. I can't even talk. But I feel um, you're really needing to um, shed some ego aspects in order for you to release any illusions from seduction um, surrounding you if there's a karmic feminine energy. And I feel um, it's really time for you to restore a sense of healthy romance, to um, restore your inspiration moving forward because that final archetype is the poet. And I feel you really are encouraged to express your soul authentically, to share um, your symbolic energetic language with those around you. Um, and to release any negative, destructive energies that have kept you kind of um, floating in this illusionary energy. Um, and do be aware of somebody really trying to intimidate you, to instill fear, to kind of keep you stuck, Scorpio. Okay, let's see what other energies need to come through with the tarot for Scorpio. What does my Scorpio collective need to know about these energies for the month of September? Current energy surrounding Scorpio. Page of Cups in reverse. So I feel a lot of closed off energy. There is like this blockage when it comes to your heart. And I do feel a need for you um, to go through some healing. I feel a lot of angelic um, guidance in regards to you really opening up your heart. Uh, I do feel a lot of father wounding coming up. Perhaps maybe you were abandoned by a father in, in the past, or you had a father that really did bully you on um, Scorpio, which has in turn kind of closed off your emotional receptors is what they want me to say. And I do feel there's a lot of illumination coming up to these repressed emotions um, in the month of September, Scorpio. So let's see what your higher self wants you to know about these energies. What does Scorpio's higher self want them to know about these energies? Two of Wands, you're at a crossroad. I feel you've kind of resisted this change for quite some time with the death and the rebirth in reverse. And that is your energy, Scorpio. And then we have the strength. I think you really are being pushed into this transformation. Um, this is a huge month of potential for you to choose a direction, to choose a new direction, one that will really allow you to embrace self-empowerment, to stand in your personal power, to stand in your strength. And I feel um, you can no longer resist this transformation, Scorpio. I feel the time is now for um, all of the light to be shown um, to you when it comes to these lower energies that you are surrounded with. So... Near future energies, please, for my Scorpio collective. We do have the Four of Cups in reverse with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. And there is this huge releasing, I feel. A need for you to go into that energy of, of all of the missed opportunities that you feel um, you kind of missed out on. And to really open up, I feel with the Knight of Wands, you really are encouraged to um, get the hell out of Dodge, is what they want me to say, to choose a new direction and to get out quickly. I feel um, if you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, there is a need for you to open up about any imbalances or where you haven't felt reciprocated within this connection. I do feel um, a, a lot of purging um, when it comes to your emotions, and I do feel a need for you to go deep within um, some self-reflective energy in order to be able to find your inner light again, to be able to shine that outwardly because your light is trying to shine, Scorpio, in order for you to reach that final destination. And you're really needing to trust in the energies of releasing and opening up. I feel if you've been holding on 
to um, an abusive energy, you're really needing to release any fears attached to that, um, to confront your inner fears, to um, open up, and to, you know, to not be that um, damsel in distress energy, Scorpio. I do feel um, a huge level of transformation as you really step into trusting your intuition this month. And I just saw 1010, so major, major completion here for Scorpio. So let's see what is hidden below the surface um, for Scorpio. We have Queen of Swords. That's um, air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I do feel um, boundaries. Boundaries are going to be necessary, Scorpio, this month. There is a need for you to stand in your truth, to honor your authenticity, and to put those firm boundaries in place. I also feel um, your guards are up. I feel you don't want to fight anymore, Scorpio. You just want peace in your life. And I and I feel like you're kind of waving uh, the flag, you know. You surrender, you surrender. So tell me more about this Queen of Swords, please. Thank you. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I think deep down you are being encouraged to go into um, mothering yourself. Where can you nurture yourself? And I just saw 1111, Scorpio. So... That, to me, I feel you're awakening to a deeper meaning, to a deeper purpose, and you are encouraged to, you know, stay laser-focused on the path that you want to create, to release any thieving energy, any um, manipulation, and I feel there is a golden opportunity here hidden below the surface that you just don't see yet, and there is a need for you to get grounded and focus so you can bring all of this full circle, Scorpio. So what is the potential overall outcome for Scorpio for the month of September? What else does Scorpio need to know about these energies for the month ahead? A potential overall outcome, please, for Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, we got four of swords. <laughs> the world reversed and the star bottom of the deck, the Hierophant. So there is a lot of divine orchestration. I do feel um, you could very well be dealing with the Taurus. That is your natural counterpart. But I feel um, there's a need to close out past cycles. I feel this level of closure is needed. There is a need for you to um, release any repressed emotions. Four, four, four. There's a lot of divine protection um, in the month of September for you, Scorpio. There is a lot of healing. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius. But I feel um, this need for you to acknowledge any repressed um, heartbreak within your heart chakra to go through this level of purification and healing. And I feel like it's the very baby stages of you going through this death and this rebirth process that you have resisted up until now and I feel the time is now to allow this to come full circle so you can close out this cycle and bring that level of healing into your life 13 13 now on the clock so that's all about embracing these changes embracing this transformation allowing yourself to go through the deepest level of healing that the universe is bringing forward so you can step into that higher level of commitment honoring that higher calling, answering the call of the angels. And I feel, get prepared for a tower moment. I feel shocking changes, revelations, a crumbling of a false foundation that really has kept you looped in the energy of fear, that really has held you back. So it's time to get rid of these burdens. It's time to travel lightly, release the emotional baggage. Because I think you've been juggling what it is you want to bring forward for quite some time. And the time is now to make a decision, Scorpio. I don't think this decision can be delayed any further. So let's dig deeper into the shadow aspects that will be arising in the month of September for integration and transmutation for Scorpio. Change. Change is a beckoning. Be prepared. Be prepared for a very, I will get your stuffy in one minute. Be prepared for a very triggering karmic event that will kind of shuffle your life into a new dynamic. I feel a huge rearrangement of energies 
And I feel there's a lot of anger when it comes to this misdirection. I feel you've been misled, Scorpio. And you're really needing to trust in what feels right and to go in that direction. Because I do feel a beautiful connection trying to come in. And you're really needing to get grounded and connect with those that support you, that have similar goals and aspirations, Scorpio. And to get grounded in the present moment. I think you're really needing to be present in all of these internal energies that are trying to come through for you to embrace this change, to embrace this breakdown. Savannah, sorry guys. I know. You definitely need some time to pause and reflect because you are going through a deep level of healing. I feel the shock of the new really is um, getting you to seek that truth, to seek those answers. And I feel um, where you have been lacking that ability to speak your truth, the energy really is supporting you to speak that truth. It will allow you to embrace a level of freedom to restore your sense of self-esteem um, in order to reclaim back your power. I think you've been feeling very lonely, resentful, and um, doing a lot of internal grieving. And I feel it's time for you to release that pain, um, to allow yourself to go deep into meditation, to trust in the energies when it comes to this transformation. And that's what I got for Scorpio, okay? I hope this resonated. If you would like to book a personal reading, please feel free to check out the information box below and there you will find my contact email. Once again, I apologize for the distractions in the background and I look forward to connecting with you all again next time. Thank you.